One of ST Engineering's businesses is its commercial aerospace segment, which contributes 33% to the group's revenue. This segment provides maintenance, repair and overhaul services at hangars in nine locations across Asia, the US and Europe. The group CEO Vincent Chong takes me on a tour of one of the hangars that the company operates in Singapore. So Vincent, we're here at your Salita Aerospace Park, one of your hangars around the world. What sort of maintenance, overhaul and operations work do you do here in this facility? In this facility, it's mainly for airframe maintenance, repair overhaul, we call it MRO for short. But we're also a uh, leader in passenger to freighter conversion around the world. So we use the hangars to convert passenger aircraft to freighter aircraft, giving it a new lease of life. Mm. What was it like during the pandemic? Because you are the world's largest commercial airframe MRO provider. When passenger planes grounded to a halt, how badly hit was your business? Uh, we were significantly hit in a very negative way, as you indicated. The engines and component MRO business was really badly hit uh, because the aircraft were not flying. But for the airframe MRO, uh, although the airframe maintenance requirement uh, came down significantly during the pandemic, but there was a pent-up demand for converted freighters. So as a result of that, uh, we have tripled the number of lines around the world and our order book for passenger to freighter conversion is full to 2026. So during the entire period of the pandemic, our airframe maintenance facilities were literally at full capacity. Mm. So now global air travel is picking up. We are seeing China fully reopening its borders. Your conversion business remains strong. What about your other types of MRO work? Is that recovering as well, back to pre-pandemic levels? Uh, it's recovering at a fast clip. Um, in fact, at the end of last year, our engines and component MRO business uh, was at about 80% capacity utilization. The, the recovery continues strong. We expect in our forecast to be back to pre-pandemic level in 24, but looking at where it is today, I think there's a good chance that we may even get back to that uh, by this year. So you're in a sweet spot, essentially? Indeed, very much so.